it's honestly a big part of my therapy too. Uh, not just the exercise, but being out in nature. Welcome to Miami. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Try running on different surfaces. It really works your muscles. <laughs> yes, runner's high is a real thing. I've experienced it, it's wonderful. Koala Sobeys, are you ready for my running video? <laughs> are you ready? Hey Koala Sobeys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to dedicate this video to my friend Jenna and my friend Abby, Abigail. Koala Subbies. You may notice something. I have a microphone. That's right, I'm stepping up to be a more professional YouTuber and I'm enjoying this journey. Thank you so much for my 100 plus subscribers now. I appreciate each and every single one of you. You have no idea what it means to me. It really... It touches my soul because I want to bring you good content. I love creating. I especially love the editing process. And I'm not sure if you guys missed uh, Marta Mondays, but I'm coming at you with a different video this week. So let's get started. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. So I'm filming this video for you guys to give you some of my tips for running. This is specifically for people who have never run before or people that have not ran in a long time. I never myself was a runner and it feels so amazing to be able to say that now, to call myself a runner. It's something I'm extremely proud of and it's part of my identity. A lot of people ask me about running since I've started my journey. I find that this kind of video would be extremely helpful for me if I first started running, which was about coming up on two years this summer, so not quite two years. I have friends and family ask me about it, so I wanted to... Oh, there's a hydroplane. I'm extremely touched that I can inspire others before I started on this journey, I looked up to people who ran in admiration. I never thought I could call myself a runner, but here I am, so it's a marvelous feeling. My father has been running for quite a few years now, and it's so wonderful to join that gang. So just to give you a little bit of an intro before I get started, the purpose of this video is to give you some insight and some tips to get started with running. If you have no experience, you've never run before, or if it's been a while, basically, if you want to get into running, I hope this video helps you because it's points from my own journey and how I got into running, and I feel that they can be quite helpful. I feel like I have to put a disclaimer on this video. I'm not a medical professional. I'm a medical school dropout. However, my parents are physicians, but you know, I'm not a physician. So obviously consult with your doctor. If you have some medical conditions or whatever you need to get checked out, do that. I'm not here talking from a medical professional standpoint. I'm sharing my own story and I want to give you some tips that may help inspire and give you courage and get you started on your journey. Before I get started on some of my tips and recommendations of what I have for you as far as getting started with running, I want to just give a quick synopsis, a little brief background story as to my own running journey. So when COVID started, I was working out quite a lot. I was going to the gym and using the elliptical like a crazy addict. About three and a half years ago, I was severely overweight. I was obese. I was over 200 pounds. And mind you, I'm 5'4 or something. So that was quite a lot of weight on me. I was diagnosed pre-diabetic and that scared me and there was a major breakup that I experienced in my life in February of 2019. When the breakup happened and I was extremely distraught, I knew that working out was one thing that really made me feel better. And so I started working out, I started going to the gym, I was going on the elliptical, I wasn't really too into it. 
However, I noticed those small things added up more and more and I did start losing weight and getting smaller. A few months after my breakup, I lost substantial weight. I'm not recommending anyone lose weight fast. I am just sharing my story. I think the emotional turmoil from being blindsided because it was a really a big breakup that I didn't expect put me in a place of taking better care of myself and wanting to better myself. And so I was really happy that I lost a lot of weight, but even it's funny looking back now, say myself a year ago, I was still quite fuller in the face, if you will. I noticed how much running has amplified that and really helped me to get truly athletic. And it's a marvelous feeling. So. If you want to get into running, if it's something that you've admired about people, it's something that you've been wanting to try but are a little bit scared, I hope this video helps you because I was on that other side before too and I truly had a false belief, which is something I talked about in a different video. I thought that I just could never be a runner. I got really bad shin splints, I wasn't enjoying it, but let me tell you about my story. When COVID happened, March 2019, we all remember that, the Ides of COVID. I was living in San Francisco at the time and I was going to a gym and unfortunately all the gym closed. So I felt like I had no clue. I didn't know how to take care of myself because that was my go-to. That was my release going on the elliptical, going on the Stairmaster. <laughs> Bear with the wind. <laughs> And so when they closed the gyms because of COVID, I felt really distraught because I wanted to take care of my health, but I didn't know what I would do when the gyms are closed. And so once the gyms closed, I decided that I must do something because I can't be getting fat. <laughs> I don't want to get fat. I've worked so hard to get to the place that, that I am. So I started thinking about running. As I said in the introduction, running is something that my father has been doing for a few years and I have watched his journey and it's always been tremendously inspiring and I even low-key was a little bit jealous that he could do that at his father age where I in this relatively young body couldn't do it and knowing that all the gyms are closed, you know, there's COVID and I really need to take care of myself so I decided to try running. I've tried running maybe a few times before in life, but it was never a true success as I didn't stay committed. And let me tell you one thing, running is not something you can just wake up one day and start running. Maybe there's few people, I don't know, 2% of the population that can, super athletic, kudos to you, but most of us mere mortals need to work our way into running. And this is exactly what I did. And I'm gonna show you and give you some tips and help and show you how you can do it too, if that's what you wanna do. My tips for you are gonna be more or less in the order of importance, as far as I feel they are important. And the very first one I will tell you, this, this is a game changer. I'm not sponsored by this app, but C to 5K, if you hear this, if you see this, uh, throw a sponsorship my way. <laughs> but this is a free app that anyone can download, Android, iPhone, whatever. This app is a program that guides you through, a, I believe, eight or nine week process. Um, maybe it's 11 weeks. I'm not sure you guys can look it up. It's been a while for me, but basically what this app does it, it guides you through weeks of run, walk, run, and it increments those run and walking segments. And the way that it builds, it really starts conditioning you for that exercise. And the most wonderful thing that I really like about it is you have your music on, you have your headphones on, whatever. And it'll tell you to your music, okay, now walk, okay, now run. And the way that it's so smooth with doing that. I truly believe the only reason I'm a runner now is because of that app. I praise that app. I tell everyone about the app and I credit my success as a runner and my commitment to running 
and developing that journey to C to 5K app. It is a wonderful application. It's free. It's my number one tip for getting into running. So do check it out. You're not going to regret it. Another thing with the C to 5K app that I recommend is there is a Reddit community that's dedicated to the C to 5K app. And it's really wonderful because there's all these other people in there doing the same thing as you, motivating each other, keeping tabs on each other. And it's just a wonderful feeling because I'm going to tell you, sometimes you're going to really struggle in the beginning. I actually almost cried on, I think, week one or two when I was running because I had such tremendous shin splints. And I truly didn't know if that would go away. And I got really discouraged, but I kept pushing through. And to be honest, that Reddit community gave me a lot of inspiration. It gave me a lot of encouragement. And it's just a really wonderful feeling to know that there are other people on that same journey. And it's just like having a big group of cheer cheerleaders uh, cheering you on on your journey. So I really recommend that. Having a support system is tremendous. Mwah. Some people have mentioned in that group to not be afraid to repeat a week if you need. So if you feel that that's something you may need to do, you know, keep doing it. But eventually through those weeks, you're going to be ready for your first 5K and you're going to be ready to really run. And what I mean by really run is not run, walk, run, walk, which is actually okay too. I now that I'm, you know, running miles, I still sometimes will take a walking break. You know, if it gets really hot, it's okay to take a quick little walking break. But you want to work up that endurance where you can run a run essentially nonstop, you know, unless nature calls, right? But <laughs> that's the goal here. And yeah, I've had runs that where I ran, you know, say seven miles nonstop. Um, and it's a tremendous feeling. So I want that for you too. Okay, so the next most important thing before you start your journey, you got your C to 5K app, but you're going to need shoes. Not just any shoes, you're going to need good shoes. Proper running shoes are going to be mission critical, super important. I really recommend going to a proper shoe store and getting fitted. It's amazing the technology they have in some of these stores. You go in, they take a look at your foot, sometimes they scan your foot, can even do a 3D rendering, and they can really see if you have any sorts of arch issues or something with your gait, um, anything like that. Going to a shoe store is crucial, especially when starting running. You wanna get the right fit shoes, and also a proper insole could be of benefit. So, of course, it's gonna be different for everyone, and, you know, the people, the people at these stores are full of knowledge. They're there to help you. And spending that money on a good running shoe is worth the investment because you don't want to be running in shoes that are not properly fitted, shoes that are not letting you reach your full potential as a runner. When I first started running in San Francisco, that was when I started my running journey, I lived right next to Golden Gate Park, which has a lot of trails, a lot of mud, and then I would run on the beach as well. So when I first got fitted, I got these Mizuno Skywave 4s. Um, these are really beat up and I even had to fix them. They're really great because they have really good grip and support and are really good for trails. It's pretty cool in San Francisco, so this didn't bother me. However, when I moved to Miami, it's so hot here. So now I run in these Nike Flex or something. I'll link them down below. My father recommended these to me. Uh, he kind of calls them sock shoes because of the, you know, thin material. <laughs> they are very breathable and super stretchy. The only caveat is because they don't have as much support, I did notice uh, feeling my joints more and more of a heavy impact however in about a week or two my feet got adjusted and i really like these so i really recommend these if you live in a hot climate nike holla at me sponsor me it's your girl <laughs> koala marta also these are great to walk around in another really important thing like i mentioned at the beginning is you probably want to get some good insoles, maybe matching your arch height, you know, whatever the professionals recommend. I got recommended these low profile run pro, run pro elite uh, insoles. So 
they really help with my running. I've noticed when I don't run with these insoles, my runs are not as good. So I really recommend uh, doing what I said, getting proper shoes and insoles if needed, which probably most of us do need. For my ladies, I always joke that you know how cats have retractable paws. I wish that us ladies, especially bigger chested, would be able to have retractable boobs for our run because as much as we love our honkers, they really do get in the way when you're running and things are bouncing. So a proper bra, especially if you're bigger chested, is a must. I actually don't wear this bra where I'm running. I have this on just for the purposes of this video. The bra that I wear is a Czech brand. I will link it down below. It's called Anita. And from the materials they use and the studies they've done, I think they're able to reduce bounce by up to 80%. Um, you guys can look up these stats. I'll, I'll link it down in the info box. But these bras are super high impact and they make a night and day difference. When I'm, you know, bouncing without anything or just a regular bra, I don't know how I could run, but these really keep your girls in and truly I can't r run without it. This is just for my ladies, real ladies. <laughs> this is what one of them looks like. Um, it has these kind of perforations. It's not very cute, but right, it's not what it's about. It's about keeping your girls in and helping you run. Um, the thing that I really abhor about it is it's so constricting and sometimes I feel like I even it's a little bit harder to breathe but you know it's really the only way to keep the girls in so I guess that's part of the joys of womanhood just like our blessed periods. <laughs> this is actually what I wear on my runs here in Florida usually some sort of loose tank that's stretchy uh, it's uh, moisture wicking, of course, because it's hot and humid here, so I get completely drenched when I run. And, you know, some sort of shorts, I'll show you, I'll show a different angle in a moment. So this is kind of a sample of what I'd be running in. Uh, some stretchy, comfy shorts, tank like this, a different bra, the one I showed you in the video, but you want to be comfortable on your runs, you don't want anything poking you. So may the force be with you. I like to wear my hair often in braids or a low ponytail. I don't recommend jewelry. I just put it on for the video as well as I have a little bit of makeup on, but we definitely don't want to be wearing makeup when we go running or gonna get sweaty. I mean, if you want to look cute, that's on you, but I don't recommend it. So they say patience is a virtue. This is another tip that I have for you guys. Give yourself patience, give yourself grace. Know that there are gonna be frustrating runs, frustrating days. Even when you get to the point where you're not using the tricycle, if I may, of the c to 5 k app, there's gonna be days and you're gonna have bad runs, but right, it's just like life. Without bad days, we wouldn't have good days. Without bad runs, we're not gonna have good runs. So. I want you to remember to be especially gentle, loving, and soft on yourself, to have that attitude, to know that, you know, it's not always gonna be great, but just having patience and grace with yourself so that you can keep going. Attitude is everything. Another thing that you really wanna focus on is having a running routine. That's kind of the wonderful thing about the C25K app. The C25K app has a bit of a built-in routine, if you will. I would recommend running at least three times a week. I think that's really the optimal. I know some people that run every day. I personally find that a little bit too much. It's okay to take a bit of a break sometimes. I have taken off seven, eight days off running at most, but you're going to find that your body will recover. But that's not something you want to do too often because you don't want to get out of sync. And one thing I promise you, you will notice over time, there will come a time when you feel a craving. Your body will call for running. You will feel unsettled when you go three, four days without running because your body craves that wonderful release, that runner's high. Yes, runner's high is a real thing. 
I've experienced it. It's wonderful. And I hope you do too. Just have a routine and stick to it as best you can. Here's another tip I have for you, and this one's about weightlifting. When I started running, I was not weightlifting. I actually started weightlifting in November. Guns. <laughs> Let me flex on these hoes. I feel that the stronger I get, especially my legs, I'm able to go further distances. I have much more endurance. And it's such a wonderful feeling. You know, there used to be a theory that you have to be really lightweight and um, the skinnier the better. But take a look at Usain Bolt. I actually saw Usain Bolt win the gold in Rio de Janeiro in 2016. And that man is full muscle. And if you look at those clips, you see where the others are behind him. Also Olympic athletes. And then he's right there. But then compare his body and the others. He's completely jacked. He's full of muscle. And that's that oomph, that stamina, that endurance, that, that power is going to give you from weightlifting. So I really recommend getting on a weightlifting plan. I, I do it myself three times a week. I'm on a beginner's program and I have already found a tremendous way that it has improved my running. So I would recommend looking into weightlifting as well, but I'm just sharing what worked for me and my personal journey. And I'm still on my weightlifting journey because I am messing around with the Smith machine and I haven't even started barbell yet. Uh, and that's something that I'm excited to start and a journey that I really am excited to make a lifelong part of my life. Next tip is once you graduate from the C to 5K app, I recommend downloading the app called RunKeeper. Again, not sponsored, hashtag I wish, maybe one day. <laughs> Let me get more subscribers. But the RunKeeper, it's called RunKeeper. It's a free app. It's a marvelous running app. Uh, I've, I've tried quite a bit of running apps, but I found that the RunKeeper one is the most intuitive, easy, and I love that it's free. They do have a pro version, which allows you to have more features, but I feel that for what I need, it's more than enough. And what I really like about it especially is you can set the announcer voice that you hear. Um, you can even turn it off, but I like to hear it. So I have mine set where every quarter mile, it will tell me my pace, how far I am, it gives me my time. So it's just a nice reminder to keep myself in check and especially as I'm running uh, I like to run to music um, have that beat and with me uh, that beat motivating me I super recommend run keeper app because it keeps you in track of your run as you run you don't have to keep checking your phone it also shows you your run path after and it keeps a tab of all your mileage it's a really superb app so I highly highly recommend that Okay, another tip that I'm going to talk about is supplements and things. And again, I'm not a professional. This is just what's worked for me. And the two major ones I can tell you about is the mushroom cordyceps. It's a mushroom that grows on trees and they make a powder from it. And you may have heard about all the magical, wonderful properties of mushrooms, but the cordyceps mushroom especially has been proven to increase endurance and a lot of athletes even use it um, it's completely natural it's a mushroom supplement I use the cordyceps mushroom powder a few hours before my runs when I take the cordyceps mushroom powder I just dilute it with water and drink it I have noticed an increased endurance and much better runs so it's a really wonderful natural supplement and also I really recommend beet beets and beetroot there's this company called human or something I'll link it below but there's other companies that make it but basically what I'm getting at is beetroot there's something in beets well nitrates specifically and this conversion in your body from the nitrates from the beets into nitric oxide help your blood flow they help your endurance and they really help boost your stamina as well cordyceps and beets whether it's chews or powder uh, those are going to be your best friends for an optimal run. So go beats. Socks. You want to have really, really good socks. So I really recommend some sort of wool blend, as much wool as possible. I know maybe sounds a little bit counterintuitive, especially if you're in a hot climate, but wool is naturally moisture wicking and wool blend socks and wool socks are a runner's best friend so i really recommend that i'm sure the people at the running store will have good tips for you as well 
And there's another brand. I'll also link it in the description box. I think they're called Imi Jimmy, Jimmy Jimmy, Imi Jimmy, Imi Jimmy. I don't know. I think it's a Japanese name. <laughs> but what they are is they're kind of like the Vibram shoes. So the sock basically covers each and every toe separately. But what that also provides is that it stops chafing. It helps with sweat management. So that's a really big go-to. This is my last but not least tip. Not very sexy, but it's this thing called Gooch Guard. And if you live in tropical climates, like here in Miami, Florida, it gets very humid and very hot. And, you know, thighs can chafe, especially bigger thighs. Thick thighs save lives. But I really like to use this sometimes when I know it's going to be hot. And so it's basically just this cream. Um, bikers, cyclists use this. It just looks like this. It has a really weird smell, but it kind of fades, so it doesn't really bother me. But basically, it's a cream that prevents chafing, stops you from chafing, and really it makes runs a lot better. Uh, I usually use it on my inner thighs when it's an especially humid, hot day. But my dad has even had a hack of putting it between your toes, so to say, um, if it's extra hot. So I really recommend this. I'll link this down in the description box. I get mine from Amazon, um, but I don't know. Maybe you can get it at some running stores or whatever. Um, I don't think baby powder is the best way to go because you're going to get sweaty anyway. So this is made specifically for athletes, um, specifically for bikers, but runners uh, rave about it too. So that's my tip for you. A little addition to my running tips because I'm actually going running very soon and I realized it's something I want to share with you guys. Again, not sponsored, I wish, but loopy, holla at me. <laughs> I have two of these cases. So a lot of people ask me sometimes when I go running, how do I film and not fall? Um, I don't recommend, obviously, having your phone out the whole time when you run. Honestly, the best runs are when I don't. But I do like to document uh, little clips of myself running um, to keep myself accountable, to look back on this journey, and maybe even to motivate others. So this loopy case, um, it has this little, um, I don't know, place to put your finger. So you see, that's just a case, but you see the way it holds like that. So it makes it super easy when you're running. You know, you don't have to hold your phone like this and worry it's going to fall because when you have your finger like that, you know, you can be kind of hands-free, but it's not going to fall. So these cases are really wonderful. I think they're better than those um, pop sockets that everyone has because Especially in Florida, <laughs> the humidity, the glue I've had uh, come off. And gosh, that's like the last thing you want to happen is that glue coming off, especially as you're running. Uh, so I highly recommend these. I'll link these in the description below. Mwah. I forgot to tell you one more thing. Also, uh, I have uh, one of my running rails on now so you can see what it's on, <laughs> what it's like on. I just ran a bit. I It's crazy hot and humid, so I'm taking the tiniest walking break. See, it's okay. <laughs> but um, this is the little running belt pouch that I use so really recommend that <laughs> one more thing I wanted to touch on uh, also the belt clip closes with the snap closure but uh, form is really important so you want to be pretty upright when you're running um, although a little bit at an angle like you're falling um, because you're running but a really important tip I feel like is to imagine a bowl of water between your hips so that you're kind of always moving slowly and gyrating those hips it's going to help your form and it's also really important to strike mid heel so try to be conscious of that that's going to help your runs so i feel a really good tip as far as form is to imagine a string on the top of your head kind of pulling you up and just trying to stay in that um, as you're running that's really gonna help your posture a lot um, and also just have some grace with yourself we all have different gates and things, but there are certain things that can help keep you healthy and stable. Keeping my hips round and head high, and most importantly, a tight core. So, yalla. And I'll just say one thing about treadmills. You know, they're there for a reason, for rainy days, whatever. 
the convenience of having it in your home. But look at this, look at this beach. I mean, I feel like I run in paradise and it's honestly a big part of my therapy too. Uh, not just the exercise, but being out in nature and seeing all these beautiful things. So I recommend you search high and low for a good running space. Um, it really can make all the difference. So, love. I wanna thank everyone who watched this video. If you're considering running, you know, know you're not alone. Running is a most wonderful exercise. And here's where I'm gonna uh, take off from tips to just the wonderfulness of running. You know, they say health is the ultimate wealth, and it absolutely is. And sometimes in our life, we don't realize how true that is until we get in trouble with our health. But I truly believe that prevention is the best medicine. Having a healthy body, a healthy mind, taking care of yourself, that is the ultimate gift. And running is so wonderful for your heart, for your stamina, for living a long, beautiful life. And so I commend you for watching this video. I commend you for wanting to get into running. Know that I struggled. I thought I couldn't do it. I had a true false belief that I could never be a runner, but I'm coming up on my two year runversary and I can't imagine my life without it. It's part of my identity. It's something I really look forward to. And here is something huge. We talk about mental health a lot and the crisis, and I hate that there's such a taboo around this also, but I feel that the world gets so obsessed with pushing pills. And I'm not saying, you know, sometimes people need that, but what people really need is take care of themselves. And exercise is a true natural antidepressant. And the feelings, the chemicals released, that runner's high, you're gonna feel so proud of yourself, so accomplished. And when you see the time go, go by and, and your mileage will go up, you know, I remember being proud of running a mile or two. And you know, right now my personal record is nine miles, even though I on average run anywhere from about four and a half to say five and a half, six miles on average on every run. But even now it's funny, I look at it, I'm like, oh, I only ran four and a half, five miles. And my dad will be like, come on now, like that's a wonderful thing. So many runners that really, you know, they're tremendous athletes, but they only run say four miles every other day <laughs> only. That's still a major accomplishment. So be proud of yourself. I am here for your journey. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And I wanna see you all shine. I wanna see you all grow. You know, if running is something you don't wanna do, obviously that's your choice, but it is a wonderful full body exercise and you're gonna be so proud of yourself knowing that you can take care of yourself, that you can propel yourself forward. And also another great hack is, <laughs> another great side effect of becoming a runner is say if you one day need to run away from a dangerous situation or run somewhere fast because you forgot something, <laughs> My dad once had to catch a flight, a connecting flight, and there was a really tight connection, but because he's a he's a runner, he was able to, you know, sprint that with no problems and it, he got onto his run, but what a cool feeling, right? So I want to see you all shine. I want to see us all shine. I'm here for your running journey. Proud of you. And remember, you can do this. You can do anything if you believe in yourself. Keep running. This is crew crew proper proper running shoes are gonna be Bye guys.